All right, guys, we have a very special guest on the phone with us this morning, and we're excited to have from the Eli Young Band, John Jones on the phone. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, y'all. How are you this morning? Man, I'm doing great. How are y'all? Hey, we're good. Does it bother Does it bother you when you have to wake up and do these early morning interviews with radio stations? Uh, a couple of years ago, I wouldn't say bother, but it was harder a couple of years ago now that I'm a dad. Um, it bothers me that I'm awake early, no matter what. <laughs> right. So it, it, it's actually kind of relieving that I can I can do something with my life. So. So tell um, me about your family situation. I've got no problem. What's your family situation? Uh, I've got one two and a half year old. Uh, my wife and I just have one child, and I dropped him off at school, and he was up at seven, which is almost sleeping in for him. So right. I'm feeling good and refreshed today. So tell me what it's like when you guys go out on the road, because we know you're going to be here in Jonesboro tomorrow, but how difficult is it for you to leave a two and a half year old at home? Uh, tough. It's really tough. Uh, we, you know, you talked to some of the old guys back in the day and the tour bus would stop at the truck stop and they would get out with their bag of quarters and they would get in line so they could call home. And that was right. their one chance. You know, uh, now it's, you know, we've got Skype and FaceTime and, it's pretty easy to stay connected. It's still tough, but compared to the way it used to be, um, there are some you know real advantages to doing now. But our, our families will actually be out with us this weekend. It's a nice little three-day run we have. Um, you know, all pretty close together shows, and so we'll have the kids out with us. It's going to be a uh, a different kind of party on the Eli Young Band bus this week. <laughs> right. So, do you guys all pile into the same bus, or are there multiple buses, or how does that work out? Now we've got two buses, one for the crew and then one for the four of us and our tour manager. But uh, we'll 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 pile we'll pile in. We've got enough bunks for the kids. There's only you know two kids between us, um, so it makes it pretty easy. Now, if everybody else, uh, Jam's a guitar player. His wife's about to about to have their first. So when that happens, um, might have to start rearranging things a little bit. Yeah. So tell me about the band because uh, you guys have have kind of come up through the ranks together. Yeah, we uh, we're all college buddies. You know from. Uh, many, many years ago, and we had all played music in, in other, you know, forms before that in different bands and, and sang, but uh, when we got to college, I think we missed that. We missed playing in front of people and making music, uh, so we found each other, and we were living together like, hey, you're a bass player, you're a drummer, you're a guitar player, you're a singer. What are the odds? We should right. at least see how this feels, and uh, it, turned, it felt really good, and by the time that we were getting close to graduating from college um, and kind of making that decision, uh, we were not making a living by any means, but we were starting to build a little fan base where we could at least dream about um, being successful as, as an act. And so when we graduated, we just kind of kept on going with it. And then you know, a lot of little baby steps later, um, found a record deal and, and got some music on the radio. And then things kind of spiraled from there. That's crazy, though, because you were in uh, college in Denton, right? Denton, Texas? Yep, University of North Texas. Um, it's right Dallas-Fort Worth area. And that it, it's so weird because... It's like in some ways we never grew up because we met in college, and so we still look at each other and think we're in college sometimes. Right. Uh, but in a lot of ways, you know, that was that was kind of a lifetime ago. So I'm a Texas guy. I was I was born in Irving and then raised in Plano. So Denton is like right there, the home of the Von Ericks and world class wrestling. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, James, a guitar player from Irving, as well. Yeah, that's crazy. So tell me about the show that we're going to get tomorrow, and and what's the vibe going to be when you come to play the Convocation Center. Oh, it's gonna, I assume the, uh, the crowd's going to be rowdy. Uh, we are going to try to play a good mix of the old stuff and new stuff and, and um, you know, a few, a few covers out there. But we, we, I think we enjoy being a live band more than anything else. That's why we started playing music together. And uh, I, want, I want to say that's kind of where we thrive. Um, so hopefully it's a good, entertaining, fun time for everybody. Who's your favorite musical artist of all time? Do you have all one time. or two? Uh, I would say, well, my favorite act we've ever toured with, which might be my favorite, uh, would be the Dave Matthews Band. I wow. think I just, Ooh, they came around at the right time for me. They're all such great musicians. And uh, right when they were becoming really, really popular was when I was really starting to get into um, figuring out how to play music with other artists, and that just really hit home for me. So when you're packing your bag, you're getting ready to leave. What are the three things you have to have in your bag? Oh, shoot. <laughs> cell phone, cell phone charger, and underwear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's terrible when you're on the road and you realize you don't have that phone charger with you. It's the um, worst feeling. I'm, I'm the guy who's like, hey, can I borrow your phone charger for like 20 minutes? I'm right. the guy here. But yeah. yeah. Are you the guy in the airport who's sitting down uh, right there in the, in the middle of the, uh, the terminal trying to charge the phone? Oh, I've been there so many times. Yep. 
and then and then switching back and forth between the iPhone and the iPad because I also want to watch a movie in the plane. And got to have enough juice for both. Yeah. What's your favorite place to travel to that you guys have been able to play? Is there like one spot that you're like, God, this was the best? Uh, we've been to Australia twice. That was tough to be. I think that that should be on anybody's bucket list just to go. Um, and we got to go twice. And the first time, um, when we were there with Tim McGraw and Faith Hill, and we played for a week, but we were there for two weeks. We just kind of took it slow a few days in between each show. Uh, and that was pretty, that was pretty awesome. Yeah. I heard our Australia was just beautiful. It's everything they say it is. Well, cool, man. We can't wait to have you in tomorrow at the Convocation Center. There's a special deal. You know, A-State, Arkansas State University went back to school this week, and you guys have been gracious enough to offer some uh, specials for the A-State students with the student ID. So there's going to be a lot of college kids out there tomorrow. We can't wait to see you tomorrow at the Convo. Sounds great. We'll see you guys tomorrow.